Here on Mad Money, we're always looking for new opportunities that are flying under the radar. Take Rider Systems, R for all you home gamers, a brand name that many of you may be familiar with, even if most people don't actually understand Rider's business. When you think of Rider, your mind may go to the old one-way consumer truck rental business, even though the company actually sold that division off nearly 20 years ago. The Rider of today is much more exciting. It's a fleet management and supply chain solutions firm, which provides leasing, commercial rental, contract maintenance, and fleet support services, along with a broad range of outsourced logistics solutions to tens of thousands of businesses. Rider stock has been a real winner as more and more companies outsource these transportation and logistics functions. The stock is up more than 22% over the last 12 months. It's doubled over the last three years. Even up here, though, I think it's got more room to run, in part because it's still fairly inexpensive, trading just 13 times forward earnings estimates. More than that, though, Rider just reported a robust quarter this morning, an eight-cent earnings beat off a dollar basis, even as its revenues came in. Some say light. I don't think so. Plus, the company raises full-year guidance for 2015, uh, although its forecast was slightly uh, below for the next quarter. The stock rallied $1. nineteen today because I think people understood that this quarter was a, still one more of many great ones. Let's take a closer look with Robert Sanchez, the chairman and CEO of Rider Systems, to learn more about the quarter and his company's prospects. Mr. Sanchez, welcome to Man Money. Hi, Jim. Thanks for having me. Well, I got to tell you, Robert, this is a very exciting business you've got. And I want people to understand how you are leveraging some secular trends in a big way that makes it so it's a lot more advantageous to use Rider than to build your own fleet. That's right, Jim. We're in the truck fleet and supply chain outsourcing business, which means companies will outsource to us their truck fleets and their supply chain activity, things that they could otherwise do on their own. The, the trend that is really helping us is that those things are getting much more difficult and complex because of really the, the, the quest for cleaner air, and for safer roads. So what that leads to is more regulation, uh, more complexity, more technology. That is really good for Ryder because that makes making it more complex means companies are more likely to outsource. And as of, as of now, only about 10% of companies have outsourced those activities. So we have a very large market to penetrate uh, as this, these activities have gotten more complex. Now, when people see trucks, for instance, you have an amazing relationship with CVS Health. People feel that with CVS Pharmacy, they're also in the trucking business. Not true, right? That's correct. The, uh, that would be called a private fleet. So it's a, it's a company that needs a truck to move their product, although they're not a for-hire carrier. So they can outsource that activity to somebody like Ryder, which CVS happens to do that. We, we deliver to about 60% of the CVS stores. So when you see a truck that has a CVS logos on it, delivering to a store, that is typically gonna be a rider truck with a rider employee driving that truck. Now, it looks like that once you get in for a fleet management situation like a CVS, you then become, it seems like, capable of getting the dedicated transportation solution and then ultimately a supply chain solution so that once you're in the door, people recognize that rider does it better than they do. That's right. It's all about being more efficient, being more reliable, and being able to do those things more safely than customers can do on their own. So with the amount of uh, experience that we have, we maintain over 200,000 commercial trucks. Uh, we we uh, employ over 6,400 commercial drivers, which is a real challenge for folks nowadays. There's a driver shortage. So we're able to bring those expertise uh, we hire drivers, we train them, and we, we have uh, ways of retaining drivers. We know how to treat them. And that allows us to bring those expertise uh, to, to customers like CVS. You know, I thought it was interesting you just mentioned the labor shortage. You talk about uh, there's a technician shortage, obviously with new emission standards. People don't really know how to do those. I thought it was interesting on Earth Day, flex to green lease. These are all things that most companies would have no idea how to do that Ryder's an expert at. Is that right? That's exactly right. So in a flex to, to lease, uh, a flex to green lease, we will lease a customer a diesel vehicle if they're not sure they want to get into natural gas, for example. But if they're two years into the lease and they decide, you know what, now's the right time to switch to natural gas or some other type of more sustainable vehicle, we will allow them to return that diesel vehicle and, and put in a, a more sustainable type vehicle. Now, how about the business that is the... Uh the used truck, so to speak, because I see that was a key metric, too, that went very well. That's correct. We're the largest independent reseller of used trucks in, in the U.S. So that business has been has been uh, doing very well over the last several years. As the price of new trucks has uh, increased exponentially over the last several years because of the new e of the EPA mandated changes that really helped get the, the clean up the air and get the air coming out of these uh, engines cleaner. The price of those the new vehicles has gone up significantly. Therefore, the price of used trucks has also gone up. 
And that's allowed us to really um, capitalize on some of, some of the opportunities that we have in reselling these used trucks that we then build into residual values for leases for our customers. What a great model. Last thing, uh, you talk about pricing was incredibly strong. Uh, and, and it just seems like to me that you are also a great player on the recovery in the United States, uh, United States business. You're largely a U.S. company. You're exactly right. About uh, over 90 percent of our revenues come from North America. Over 85 percent of them are from the U.S. We're actually viewed as a pretty good barometer of the U.S. economy because we have a truck rental fleet. We do business with over 50,000 companies, many of them small to midsize. So when their business starts to improve, they'll come in and rent trucks from us. And when things go the other way, those trucks will come back. Well, our rental business has been has been really strong over the last, I would say, year and a half to two years. And we're, we saw that continue in the first quarter. So uh, from that vantage point, I would tell you the economy here in North America looks pretty good. Wow. What a story you guys have. I'm so glad you came on. I know we profiled you a couple of years back, and I just said, we got to get him on. I see why. Robert Sanchez, Chairman CEO of Ryder. Why is the stock is going higher? Thank you so much for being on Mad Money. Thank you, Jim. Thanks for having me. Guys, this is a great one. What more can I say? I think these guys really have it going. Stay with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.